All right. 100 Pipers. Now, this is a blended Scotch whiskey. Uh, it is a three-year, not really anything special, $12 bottle, essentially a well drink. I understand this is a, a more popular brand uh, in other countries. Uh, I think India and perhaps other places in Asia. Who knows? But uh, in the United States, it's not too common. It's common enough. But uh, it is, I guess, in other countries, it comes in, in other than three years. In the United States, you only get the three year. But all right. So it's, it's a fairly simple... Nothing off-putting well drink. There's not too much on the nose. Maybe just a hint of... There's not a strong nose on it. But there is some smokiness to it. So there is some heated malts in there. And some graininess. Touch of vanilla. Classic. Classic, classic scotchiness. Just not a strong nose. Not a lot of burn. Nice sweet graininess. Uh, this really tastes more like a... There's a, a hint of peat in there. It's not a lot of peat, but it's just like a very small... You know, blinking you might miss it. A little bit of peat in there. But it's really primarily a grain whiskey. Almost like a sweet corn flake, frosted flake. A little scotchy. It's not bad. It's it's really not bad. It's it's pleasant. It's a, a decent well drink mixer. I would drink this on ice because I'm not that picky. But I mean it is one of those things. Uh and, you know, is it better than doers? It's up to you if you you know, I it's worth a try. So, yeah, I would, I would actually be interested in trying the 8 and 10 year version of this if I could ever get my hands on it. Because it might actually be quite interesting. But it is what it is. It's, it's, for the price, I can't say anything bad about it. So, that's all I have to say.